massive here refers to a massive number of antenna elements that are addressable. So, for example, um, Ericsson products available like the adaptive antenna systems, the antenna integrated radio 6488 product has 64 actually has 64 antenna ports which are all addressable. There are similar antennas that have 32 ports and also 16 ports and some of the millimeter wave have even a larger number of ports. It's generally said that anything greater than equal to or greater than 16 ports would be defined as a massive type of antenna uh, array. So massive MIMO is sort of two things, really. It's the ability to do beamforming and also the ability to support single-user MIMO and also multi-user MIMO. And with single-user MIMO, a beam can be created to an individual UE and uh, at mid-band and, and uh, low-band, multiple beams can actually be supported at the same time to different UEs in the same TTI, a same transmit time interval. And the individual beams can also support more than one layer of communications up to four by four layers of a single user MIMO in each beam. That gives a tremendous improvement in an, and increase in the throughput to those individual devices on the downlink. Another feature of the massive MIMO configuration is the ability for MU or multi-user MIMO. In the case of multi-user MIMO, we're actually providing communications to multiple UEs using the same radio resources. So in other words, when we are generating physical resource blocks as part of the transmission to a single UE, then copies effectively of those resources are created and then transmitted on different beams to different UEs. And that also, of course, gives us an increase in the capacity because now we have more than one UE that's using, utilizing the same physical resources. These are representative of physical resource blocks. One is the minimum that can be sent to a UE and of course multiple PRBs can be sent to UE as well and in this case we're sharing, not sharing, but using the same resources for multiple UEs. A beam could be transmitted to this UE from there, and another beam from this layer and let's say another beam from that layer. And by utilizing this beam forming we can improve the coverage through greater uh, antenna directivity and antenna gain. Through multi-user MIMO, we can increase the capacity and also the energy efficiency of uh, the power amplifiers used in these new products is much more efficient than in previous products. And in addition, we also see a reduction in the interference to other UEs due to the directivity of the, the beams that are generated for a particular UE. When we discuss beamforming and uh, multi-user MIMO, single-user MIMO, etc., it's important to realize that there are some channels that need to be distributed over a whole sector as opposed to beamformed to an individual UE. Uh, in this case, we call this the common channel beam or I prefer antenna pattern or radiation pattern envelope because it's not always a, I think when we use the term beam, we think uh, in terms of, you know, a very narrow sort of pencil-like type of beam like you see over in these other diagrams uh, here. But for common channel coverage, we need that to be a wider beam that covers maybe the whole sector area of an antenna uh, pattern. Uh, in 5G, common uh, channels can be 
defined, or I should say the coverage of these common channels can be defined through data fill with certain options that provide, for example, macro uh, coverage, which is a wide azimuth beam and a very